This is one of the most seismically resilient buildings in New Zealand. We focused on achieving uh, some really key outcomes at a, at, um, with the architectural design. So the efficiency of the floor plate, but also the flexibility of the floor plate, all within a seismically excellent and resilient structure. In terms of the design of the building, the diagrid, the structural system, is a very important part of the building, and it's, we, we like to think of it as the building's kind of DNA. Uh, so we have used that diagrid in, in the architecture. When you see the building, it, it has that, uh, those large kind of faceted diamonds and things which are referencing, referencing that diagrid. So this is one of the most seismically resilient buildings in New Zealand. Um, it achieves that through the base isolation system, which you can see here. The lead rubber bearing moves up to half a metre at the top. The yellow portion can move across, so we needed to provide clearance around the whole building of over half a metre so that it wouldn't hit into anything in the large event. So the ground floor is, is, a, is a large open space, it's been opened up to the exterior um, so you get good views both from, from the street into the building but also from the building um, out to the, to the heritage sheds and, and, and the waterfront. We designed the interior of the ground floor to reflect the overall language of the, the greater building, very much taking the language of the diagrid through into the detailing and the client was extremely passionate about having a ground floor lobby experience that was very different to what else you might find in Wellington. The Deloitte reception on level 12 uh, features a timber pod um, which has been isolated in the tenancy space and it houses meeting rooms as well as the reception. The the building's context is, is one of the key drivers. Um, it's location on that, on that waterfront edge, um, very conscious of the fact that it gets views from right across the harbour back toward the building. But the faceted curve is not only great in terms of that, that harbour view, but also vistas up and down the street. So the, you know, the natural amphitheatre of the harbour curves one way and the building curves against that. What we're seeing now, I think, with these more modern generation of office buildings is creating an asset that is calculated to achieve an outcome that preserves the structure, not just achieves the minimum requirement in the, in the building code. You know, I think it's been very well received. We've received nothing but praise from the community and uh, from uh, both professional and public. For us, it's a, it's a great outcome.